The three of us are going to be doing three different prank challenges and then whoever loses at the end has to go find the angry 6-7 man and remind him that he is in fact 6-7. My name is Vladimir, and today I am back here with my friends Sanya from Basque TV and Tanner from No One Safe. And today we're actually going to be doing an idea that I got from Tanner, where the three of us are going to be doing three different prank challenges, and then whoever loses at the end has to do a punishment. So for the first challenge, all three of us are going to be fake employees at three different establishments. Whoever can lie the longest without being told they have to leave that person is a loser so what are the uh, establishments so in this bag over here i have dozens of all my collection of the fake employee shirts so right now we're all just gonna reach in whatever we grab first that's what we're doing i got this shit all day bro do you see you can do the indian one though honda let's see Popeyes. Popeyes, wow, okay. For the second challenge, we are going to be sneaking Silotka into people's backpacks. If you successfully sneak it in first try, you win the challenge. And for the final challenge, we will be asking people to film a vlog for us. And whoever stranger films for the least amount of time, that person is the loser of that challenge. Now, you guys ready for the punishment? Whoever gets the least amount of points at the end of the day has to go find the angry 6-7 man. Everybody walk around saying I'm 6 7 and remind Find him that he is, in fact, 6'7". Let's go! How you guys doing? Are these the orders that we're stalking today? Oh, GLS? Yeah, those are. This is what we're stalking? You're GLS? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear I didn't Yeah, I'm GLS. So do you guys have, like, a dolly? No. You guys don't have a dolly anywhere? It's going to take me forever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to stack it up at the front over here. I guess I'll call my partner to give me the dolly. Hopefully he has one in the truck. I don't know. Well, you're going to leave it outside in the front? No, no, no. I'm just going to stack it over here to make it easier. What's your name, by the way? Jonathan. Jonathan. My name is Stan. Casual Thursday, bro. Hold you. What are you guys doing, man? It's Casual Thursday. Why are you guys wearing shoes? Come on, bro. You got to wear the slides. Casual Thursday, bro. You guys don't do that here? Casual Thursday is where it's at. Can one of you guys give me a hand? Because I, I thought I was going to have a dolly here, but... What about these right here? Do they want to take these? They said the top shelf. What are you talking about? These ones right here? No, what are you doing? They said they wanted to box these up. No, no, they're not. They're not expired? Wait, let me check. Can, can I see like the GLS you're working with? What's that? Can I see your, the GLS? Oh, hold on. He's calling me right now. They said the top shelf ones are expired. That's not the right one. Okay, hold, hold on real quick. You need some help, sir? Can cool. I see that you work for GLS? Like I said, I don't have a lot of my equipment. I've never been in this location before. I can, when my partner comes up here, he'll have all the ver verification. He said yeah, he found. That's, that's weird, just getting up there. Why are you getting up there? Because they said top shelf, one of the top oh, shelf has expired. Really works with the boxes. You I know. The boxes and that's it. But they said top shelf has expired. So what do you have to we have to box expiration? one of them up. What do you have to do with the expiration? Listen, pal, I'm just trying to do my job, okay? You don't have to get an attitude with me. I've had a long week. Why are you getting up the ladder? Because I'm just trying to do my job. He yeah. told me top yeah, shelf is expired. Packed boxes. They don't pick up expired items. That's what they told me to do today. Whoever's coming, I want to talk to them too. Cool, that's fine, yeah. Could you give me a hand though? He can't help you with it. Why not? It's part of the job. That's your job. Crazy, bro. At my location, they help out with any hand that I need. You need help? Just bring like one of the boxes to the front. You guys should give this guy a 5% discount for helping me out. They should give you a 5% discount, bro. The other GLS guy should be here in five minutes. He's walking up. Yeah, Appreciate it, bro. GLS? Thank you. I got you. Finally. He was trying to get up there to get products. Just show it to him, bro. Come on. Why are you playing? He's playing. Come on, bro. We got to get these boxes. Oh, you're FedEx. Yeah. Oh, can I borrow this though? I need it. Do they pick up in another? All right, that's fine. I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I thought you were a GLS. Did they give you 5% discount? You guys got like a gift card or something? Oh, no, no. It's okay. I you sure? Um, okay. Show me your employee number. You see this? What's your employee number? This is all I need to know, buddy. Right What's your employee number? Are you going to ask nicely though? What's your employee number? Because you give me an attitude right now. That's can you ask nicely and I'll give it to you? I would highly recommend this other one. Would you come over here with me? This other one over here? Yeah, don't don't listen. Seriously, I'm trying to help you guys out and make sales. You don't you don't know how to upsell. So, excuse me, sir. Have you ever you ever got this for your girl over here? Come here. We got this woman stress release right here. Basically, anytime she takes her period, you slip this in her morning coffee. You won't even notice it. Ask her. Do you take this? Obviously, she doesn't take it. I'm gonna go call my poly. I don't know where he is. So I guess I'll be back to pick these up. All right. So your official time, 12:33. But you just left. Why would you? It's casual, bro. That's casual time. I'm I'm definitely confident with it. You know, it's casual Thursday. So I just feel like that's enough time. I feel like that's gonna get the W. You're that confident that you didn't even finish your scene? Yeah, cause like I feel like that's a solid time for me to at least not lose the challenge coming last. And I also didn't want to risk it and trespass because we come here a lot. You think that was smart for him to leave? I think it was pretty smart. 12 minutes is enough time. I feel like. Oh, so you think you're gonna beat that? 
Well, I feel like me going to Popeyes is like, it's an obvious thing. Like, you know, you're walking in behind the counter, they know each other like within five seconds. So it's so like- you think you're gonna beat that time? It's gonna be tough. Well, anyway, it's my turn now. I mean, I don't think that was smart to leave. You guys good? Oh no, I'm just here for work. It's kind of slow today. Yeah, that's what they told me on the phone. I was like excited to be early. Well, you guys need any help with anything? Or? Not myself. Okay. Who is in charge of this location right now? His name is Art. Is he here? No, he's on vacation. Yeah, I mean, I can tell because it's kind of slow. I just feel like we got to do something, you know? That's what they call me in. Put out signs outside or something. I don't know. I've never seen it this slow, honestly, in all my years of working here. Where do you work at? Corporate. That's what they send me in, like, when it's slow at locations. You've been taken care of? Thank you. Yeah. How's your experience here today so far? Fun is great. Oh, perfect. Have you been taken care of? Daniel, what can I do for you? What's up? So they sent me from corporate because uh, it's kind of slow. No, no, me. But uh, are you the one in charge? I'm one of them. Uh, so like, we really gotta do something about Which how slow it is. Which cor uh, Ford corporate? <laughs> what do you think? So what was your name? Vladimir. Vladimir, you have yeah. a card? No, yourself? not only like I said. You uh, don't have one. Okay. No. Corporate usually doesn't send anybody without telling them. Yeah, well, I've never heard of you either. But um, you gotta do something about this lack of customers, man. I was thinking we have one of you guys go out like with signs. Okay. Well, have them give me a call. We'll take care of it. Because uh, so these, 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 no, because these customers here, they're happy. I'm glad to see that. That's what I love to see. Mm -hmm. What do you guys normally do in situations like this when there's no customers? We advertise more. Well, let's hear they your authorize, ideas. They authorize all the advertising. Well, let's right? hear your ideas. I don't know who you are. Vladimir. Morning. There's like two people. Why are they standing outside? That's kind of weird. Maybe that's why there's no customer because you have two weirdos. Some tall guy, some guy with tattoos. Is there anything else I could do for you, Mark? You could sell more cars. That's what you can We're do for trying. me. We're trying. We're trying, but when we <laughs> doesn't doesn't look like here it. pretending to be from corporate. I mean, what do you? You want me to do i'm here to help you you tell me what you want me to do leave. leave fuck only seven minutes yeah. it was about seven minutes two seconds hello no i actually back to work no i'm getting back to work i work here no you don't get i work here get off no i work here i'm trying to get back to work i'm trying my name is lebron what do you mean okay get off i'm trying to get up no get no, off I, that way i, I work with you i work here what do you mean you don't work yes here. i do shaquille See? sent me from the different location no. i was working as a janitor over there no. i'm trying to get up you're not letting me to get up get off that way i'm don't trying to get up shaquille told me that i'm here at this location in hollywood today no. sir can i help you can you get off here? no i'm trying to get up you're not letting me to get up sir how no. can i assist you, you? Don't work here. Get up. What would you like to order? Apple, apple pie? Yes. Where can we get apple pie? You don't work here. So you I do. Know that. Call Shaquille and ask her. I don't want to get up the way. I work here. I came back to work. They did say it. See you, brother. Were you even trying? You just stood on the counter. No, I was, but that lady wasn't letting me to kind of jump inside. You didn't even try to open the door. You just went straight <laughs> from the counter. She kept telling get out. Like, that doesn't mean the same as, like, leave. Get out means get out what? Get out of this area. Get out of get the out. counter. No, they, they said, said get, get out. out. Get out is the same thing as you have to leave. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the last, but I feel like I could have st stayed longer on that counter. Sorry, bro, but sorry. Lost. sometimes in life, we lose things. Sometimes in life, you take the L. You yeah. have to go outside, catch her. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, I've been taking LSA. <laughs> All right, next time I'm gonna win for sure. How you doing, bro? Yeah, doing That's good. a nice soccer ball. Thank you. Appreciate it. Where'd you get that from? I just that Target. Okay. Really? Target? How much was it? I know at Walmart they sell it for like. This one was like. Let me see. Mind if I try it? Sure. Oh yeah, this one feels good. Yeah, that one feels great. Is that a fish? I don't know why is that in your bag. It's not my bag. That wasn't in there a second ago. That's kind of weird that you just keep a fish in your bag, but I'm not going to judge. But you said you got this from Target? Yeah, I got that from Target. And how much was it? Oh, you eat those? Those taste pretty good. You just keep it in your backpack like that? No. I, but what, what, what's going on? Yeah, man. 10 bucks at Target. If you... 10 bucks? Oh, that's not bad. Appreciate it. Excuse me. Do you have a lighter by any chance? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Yep. <laughs> That's not yours. That's not yours. This <laughs> bad. You guys working out? Yeah. I don't work out, I only work. I'm thinking about getting into it though. You guys have Sinotka? What is that? I just got it from your bag. It was in there. No, that was not in there. It was literally in there. Can I have it though? You can have it. It's all yours. What is it? Shilotka. We eat this in Russia. It's really good. No way. It's good. I'm telling you, you want to try it? No thanks. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll put it back then. <laughs> you guys have a good one. You too. All right.
Alright, so before we get into the final round and see who has to confront the angry 6-7 man, first, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Manscaped. A lot of you guys always ask me how I have the confidence to do what I do in public, and honestly, it all starts with having a good grooming routine as a man. You always want to be looking fresh, looking clean, looking sharp. Nobody's gonna take you seriously if you're walking around looking like a bomb, and there's no better place to start than Manscaped's brand new Perfect Package 5.0 Ultra. It comes with a brand new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which has taken grooming precision to a whole new level with their next gen and dual skin safe blade heads. I use this one to trim not only my balls, but my entire body as well. This package also comes with a crop soother ball after shave lotion. And my personal favorite whenever I'm going out to film or do any other sort of business, the crop preserver ball deodorant. And it doesn't stop there. This package also comes with a free gift, this travel bag that you can use to fit all this under the sink or just travel with on the go. Order now with code ECANE for 20% off and free international shipping. It really helps to support the channel, and most importantly, it'll help you too to smell like Vladimir. I'm trying to confess about my ex-girlfriend. It's a really important video, by the way, okay. All right, you ready? Do I look fresh? Baby girl. I feel lonely without you, baby girl. I want you to come back. You, baby girl, you're the only one. See how bold I am? That's how I want to touch your pussy as well. I hope you shave. I'm the only one who can afford buying you Mercedes Benz. I was in jail recently, right? I was in prison. Because of you, I got fucking drunk. I got wasted. Hold on, don't stop. Keep rolling, keep rolling. It's like you just touching my face and I'm just like putting you down like this, right? And I'm just going like down deep into your vagina. So I have to confess about this. I know it's on camera, but it's only between me and you. I've been doing insurance claims. Insurance claims, just like the fraud. Me and your mom, we're kind of getting to know each other, right? Uh, I mean, we haven't done anything. Like, we didn't cross that line, baby girl. But right now, you're with that guy. And I know, I know it sounds wrong, but I mean, me and that guy, we had something too. We actually worked together after the night of drinking. It, just, it was just once, okay, once. I mean, drinking every night. I was smoking, I was having sex with strippers. Only because I was stressed. That one night, the, the, the 10 chicks came over my place. We can still have Armenian babies together. Not me and your mom, but just me and you. I know you you just turned 54 and I'm only 28. We can still take pills or something, maybe injection. I mean, I usually don't cry. I don't cry. They're coming out, baby. And they're coming out for you. I have somebody who's waiting for me at home tonight and she's not the same, baby. She's kind of the same. I mean, she's your mom. Wait, can I show your face too? Is that okay? You know? No. Okay, um, But hopefully that was helpful. See you guys. Thank you. Remember, friend? Could you film like, a quick scene for me? It's already recording. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Prison Time with Vladimir. As you know, we do this Prison Time where we go back to stories about when I spent seven years in Russian prison. Today, we are going to be talking about the foods that we had that we didn't have. So let's start over here. Do you speak Russian, by the way? Говоришь по русски? Ой, это для русской аудитории мы снимаем просто. Давай заново начнем по русски. Здорово, ребята! Сегодня история тюрьме с Вовой. Сегодня мы будем говорить, а что мы кушали в тюрьме и что мы не кушали. Разницу между американской тюрьмой и русской. Короче, начинаем вот тут с картошечки. Это, конечно, каждый день было. Я по английски опять скажу. So in American jail, the two days that I spent in Phoenix, Arizona, for beating this guy's ass, they didn't give us potatoes. In America, we call this one ravioli, but in Russian, pilmeni. It's nice pilmeni, right? <laughs> in Russian prison, sometimes, you know, people would even fight to get more. Ребята, я говорю по-русски теперь. Опять же, пельмени каждый день мы кушали, когда были в тюреке. Always stay out of jail, guys, because, you know, you won't get access to more organic, more quality foods like this one. Ребята, я всегда говорю, что лучше не оказаться в тюреке. Ну, бывает такое, как когда я два дня сидел в Аризоне, когда меня не уважал человек, и пришлось его отпиздить. Короче, органик, вот это, органик, шморганик, можете забыть об этом. Продолжаем. 
in a Phoenix, Arizona County Jail. They're gonna give you a slice of cheese. You'll get one slice of the bologna. If you look at the ingredients in this, mechanically separated chicken. Corn syrup contains less than 2% of salt, ground mustard seed. They use one piece of this meat, one piece of this meat. And the ingredients are not useful. That is, it is not human. I am telling you, guys, that even in the Russian prison, that is, everything they say is about the news, that is, that is not Russia, that is, I am telling you, here in the prison, there are many circumstances worse. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to be the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. It is going to be in the link down below. Subscribe to the Patreon, like I said, uh, the TikTok. And until next time, this is Prison Stories with Vladimir. Теперь опять же для моих русских подписчиков ВКонтакте а, Владимир Вячеславнов. Добавьте меня на снэпчете. Это Владимир. Вячеславнов. Инстаграм Владимир Андерскор Вячеславнов. На Фейсбуке добавьте меня, пожалуйста, мою страничку. Владимир Вячеславнов. И самое главное, на Патреоне. Всего лишь 10 долларов, но это все идет обратно в канал. То есть вы не зря тратите свои деньги. Я понимаю, что не у всех есть деньги. Я понимаю вас, ребята, но эти деньги идут в хорошее место. И я хочу, чтобы вы это знали с глубине моей души. Спасибо за то, что вы посмотрели этот ролик. Все. Окей, давай теперь быстро. Следующий, можно еще один? Я сейчас забаню просто, закат забанит меня. А, спасибо, но выручило реально. Did you take a quick video for me, really quick? Oh, sure. It's for my uh, fitness vlog. I just gotta do an outro, it'll be super quick. Back in my fitness vlog, and as you guys saw, we got a sick fucking pump today. Key to having a sick pump, to keep your sick pump, is to stay fucking hydrated. So first, oh! rip this open. <sighs> ah. <sighs> oh! Drink one, drink one, drink one, drink one, let's go. Oh! Let's go, baby. No better way to finish a pump than to get another fucking sick pump. Let's go, baby. Oh! Camera guy's gonna get her a quick pump real quick. Keep going, keep going. It's part of the video. I promise it's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be, I'll blur your face. Look, I'll cut your face out. No pump? Okay, we're almost done. All right, I'll finish the outro. After you get a sick pump, no better way to finish off a pump with some cardio. But first, stay fucking hydrated. You ready? Hydrate, let's go. I know you work out, you gotta hydrate. Three point, you ready for a three point? Oh, let's go, baby. Oh shit, we're good, we're good. Keep filming, we're good. I know, but I want 15. To, like, shopping. 15 minutes. Come on, bro. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm like a professional gym vlogger. They call me like the guy. The gym vlog guy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. The last step after you stretch, dehydrate. You guys want water? Catch. Hydrate, bro. Stay hydrated. I, yeah, I'm just trying to make yeah, sure they're hydrated. PPA. Wait, keep recording, keep recording. Oh my god, okay. We're almost done. I'm we're almost so done. We're almost done. I've oh, my fuck. Man. You put it in. All right, appreciate it. Yeah. I Thank did. you for the video. I did. So now we're kind of ending it three, two, two. Now it's a tiebreaker. We don't want this video to be three hours long. So we're gonna make it simple. Rock, paper, scissors right now. One, two, three. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, you gotta go up to like. Also, for those of you guys that didn't know, Tanner already went up to the angry 6-7 man once on his channel. It kind of ended with him calling you the devil. I think tomorrow morning we should go get a devil costume and you'd be like, how'd you know? <laughs> go up to him as the devil. Mike, you called me the devil, and you were correct. It is time to come with me, my son. Enough of your lies. Say you're six nine when you're actually six seven. You must come with me where you belong. How you doing? I'm just picking up another one of my people. Can I get in this picture before we go to hell? It is time to come with me where you belong. Lying is a sin. I'm trying to take him where he belongs. It is time to take Ike where he belongs. He has lied. Lying is a sin. Come with me. Come with me, my son, to hell. I can't leave until you come with me, my son. Why do you treat me like this? I will drag you to hell myself! I am fire. I am fire. I am fire.
You don't know where you at, bro. Do you know who I am? You know, you know who we at? Do you know who I am? I'm the devil, bro. Everybody knows they're six seven. We must go to hell. I tried to bring my son to hell with me where he belongs because he is a liar. Everybody knows he is six seven. How are you doing, my son? How are you doing? Do not touch me, my son. I am the devil. Back away from the camera guy. He does nothing wrong. He has done nothing wrong. Don't touch me. I am the devil. Don't touch me. You better keep that camera, keep it on. What's gonna happen if the camera's off? <laughs> It's Venice on, Beach, bro. Come it's come not on. a hood. These have to show up so we don't murder these guys, man. But well, unfortunately, they dipped out before the police showed up. It's just these YouTubers, man. They keep coming with the cameras and they're trying to fuck with us. This motherfucker today is just, you know, I'm like, what is going on in your head? I told you. Everybody who comes with the 6 7 shit is on that demon time, you know, because 6 9, that's the truth. It's fucked up. Makes you want to kill a motherfucker. You feel goddamn devil. Fuck you, Satan.